Hello everyone, me again, Sinta Amalina, with the eighth session, uh, session four with module eight, with entitled Risk and Return. Section goal: Student will understand about capital asset pricing model or CAPM and weighted average cost of capital or WACC. The module goal: Student can student can calculate the capital asset pricing model or CAPM it is the chapter 8 so the fundamentals of risk and return we should understand this as the basic foundation risk is the earning of return of an investment with uncertain conditions while the return it is risk and return are always considered one another they have a high relationship with it Let's say when there is higher risk, so we expect to have higher return as well. So we need to know the total rate of return from the investment we made. Either we will gain, we will experience gain or loss based on a given period. So here we can get the first calculations of return. It is equal to C of T plus P of T <coughs> deduct with the uh, after price and uh, divide it to the p t minus 1 what does it mean with this equation is where rt is the actual expected or required return of re required rate of return during period t while the c is the cash flow received from the asset investment in the time period of t 1 to t p is the price value of asset at time one uh, at time t while the p it is the previous price equation one is used to determine the rate of return over a time period as short as one day or as long as 10 years or more however in most cases t is one year and r therefore represents an annual rate of return here we go uh, we go directly to the example Robin wishes to determine the return on two stocks that she owned during April uh, during 2012 Apple and Walmart. So here we are going to calculate for two different company. The first one Apple and the second one is Walmart. At the beginning of the year, Apple stock traded for 400 411.23 per share while Walmart was valued at 60 dollar point three uh, point thirty three during the year apple paid five point three dollar in dividends while walmart shareholders received dividends of one point fifty nine dollar per share at the end of the year apple stock was worth five hundred thirty two point seventeen while walmart sold for sixty eight point twenty three so what will be the annual rate of return so first we should calculate for the apple first so here we can get 5.3 plus 500 552.17 411.23 and all these calculations we should divide into the 411 and 23 dollar as the uh, stock price at the beginning of the year so we get 30.7 percent while for walmart the price is 1.59 plus 68.23 minus 60.33 and this all calculations we should divide with the beginning price which is 60.33 so it equals to 15.7 percent so what is uh, the relationship risk and return we can refer to the capital asset pricing model it links the risk and return for the entire asset based on theory higher risk of investment tend to have higher return and diversification can reduce the risk that fi that's faced by the investor in order to quantify the relationship between risk and return it could be measured through CAPM to estimate how much additional return could be expected from taking a little extra risk there are two type of risk uh, there are three types of risk total risk diversifiable risk and non diversifiable risk total risk is the sum of non diversifiable risk and diversifiable of its security 
while for diversifiable risk also known and also known and as unsystematic risk since the assets risk is due to random causes and it can be eliminated eliminated by proper diversifications it actually related to the firm specific like the laws regulations and loss of key accounts while non-diversifiable risks also known as systematic risk it we in which the asset risk is due to market risk and cannot be eliminated through diversifications it usually it like the external factors like in wars invasions overall economic state international incidents and political events this is the risk that we cannot control so total security risk equal to non-diversifiable non-diversifiable risk plus diversifiable risk so here is the equations of capital asset pricing model using the beta coefficient to measure non-diversifiable risk the capital asset pricing model is given by R equal to risk free plus uh, beta times RM minus risk free. What is uh, where required RG is the required return on asset of G, RF is the risk free rate of return commonly measured by the return on US Treasury bill, BG is the beta coefficient or index of non diversifiable risk for assets G, and RM is the market return. So here we have the example how to calculate the CAPM. Emmanuel Corporation, a growing computer software developer, wishes to determine the required return on asset Z, which has a beta of 1.5. The risk-free rate, the risk-free rate of return is 7%. The return on the market portfolio of asset is 11%. How much will be the required return on asset Z? So here we can just input this amount into the equation. So at the end we get the risk required, uh, the required return on asset Z for 13%. So to close this sessions, the quiz will be: Let's say Alexipo as Chinese model mobile phone wishes to determine the required return on asset Y, which has a beta of 2.4. The risk-free rate of return is 6%. The return on the market portfolio of asset is 22%. How much will be the required return on asset Y? A. 44.4%. B. 60.4%. C. 23.4%. D. 45.5%. So this is the end of the session of today. Thank you for your attention and thank you for listening. See you on the next sessions.